One of the greatest things about Rugby Union is that more than size, strength, speed, skill, rugby is a test of a man's heart. And of anyone who's ever set foot on a rugby field, there are a few hearts bigger than the one belonging to Jacques Berger. His is an inspiring tale of an underdog who fought for everything and earned the respect of everyone who shared the field with him or watched him play because he was absolutely nailed. I do wonder what might have happened had Jack Berger been able to represent a country besides Namibia. What accolades he might have won and what he could have shown on the biggest of international stages. I mean, not that he would ever even contemplate the idea. You could see at those three Rugby World Cups exactly what pulling on that blue jersey meant to him. Jacques Berger is a man who played rugby and lives his life for a purpose greater than himself. Seeking those connections, that place and that sense of purpose that's the fuel taking him beyond pain barriers and to the very limits of his capabilities, places very few people ever go. Now, after rugby, Jacques' place and purpose is with his family in the Kalahari Desert, miles from his nearest neighbour, tending to the animals on his farm. Without the need or want of bright lights, fame or recognition, just a place to find meaning in doing an honest day's work. He's settled now, but as a rugby player, he spent years searching for that sense of belonging. From Grikas in the Curry Cup, to a season at Aurillac in France and then back to South Africa with the Blue Bulls, never quite establishing himself and never settling down. Until Brendan Venter called. And despite a more lucrative offer from Eddie Jones in Japan, he was persuaded that his home was in London. And despite being the polar opposite of the Kalahari Desert, Jacques Berger had found his rugby home, instantly connecting with the culture and the people at the club, a club where family was everything, and that was everything Jacques Berger had been craving. He'd found that sense of purpose and place, and he went to work defending his brothers every time he pulled on the Saracens jersey, becoming an instant fan favourite. He was the team's player of the year when they won the Premiership in 2011, Saracens and his first major title. He was still there too when they won the first of their three European Cup titles, a cornerstone of the dynasty that Saracens built. And it was in that Saracens jersey that he delivered arguably his most memorable performance in the Heineken Cup semi-final against Clermont Auvergne in 2014. Now a savage knee injury should have ended his career two years earlier, but he committed to a round-the-clock intense rehab programme for months, just for the privilege of putting his body through it all over again. Step forward Jack Berger in a Heineken Cup semi-final where their road had ended the previous year. Berger is like a man possessed at the moment. And despite touching the ball only twice in the match, he had the most monumental impact on that game in every sense of the word. 28 bone-shuddering tackles, a one-man wrecking ball at the tip of the spear of Saracen's Wolfpack defence, one of the greatest individual defensive performances of all time, and one that will be remembered through the ages. This has been one of the most daunting defensive displays I have ever seen. Now, if his face doesn't tell a picture all on its own, then how about three shoulder surgeries, 12 knee surgeries, one bone growth on his shoulder, and daily painkillers three times a day by the end of his career? And it was an injury that robbed him of his final moment at a Rugby World Cup with Namibia, announcing his retirement after a concussion against Georgia in 2015. Now, we love amazing tries, incredible skills and moments of genius, but there is something about seeing someone work that hard, that bravely and that selflessly that makes men like Jacques Berger the most loved of rugby players. The courage it takes, not just to play through pain, but to willingly bring it on yourself in support of the men around you, that is awe-inspiring. And if anyone has ever earned the right to sit and look out over an African sunset, with a beer in his hand and meat cooking over open coals with his family alongside, it's Jack Berger. He was absolutely nails.